Alrighty, hello Nuggets. This is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. And I am going to do um, messages for the Zodiac signs. We're going to do individual messages. And please forgive me, I'm looking for something to take this glare off because it's worn me out. But anyhow, I'll get past that. We're going to start with my favorite water signs. Sorry you don't like it tough. we're gonna start with the water signs because I like to uh, get the whirling energy and, and I'll end with the with the earth signs because um, of course they ground so um, yep we're gonna just go ahead and jump into that let's do uh, cancer Cancer. What is cancer? Okay, okay. All right, making a mess, making a mess, making a mess. All right, I've got two. Two of them popped out, and then our bottom one is must be nice by life Jennings. so um, this is it's cool let's go ahead and jump in let's see so we have I'm coming out by Diana Ross and signs of love making by Tyrese so um of course the obvious to me someone could possibly be coming forward with some uh, emotions some feelings speaking on how they feel cancer you are the epitome of emotion you guys are the youngest water sign so your energy your your feelings your emotion is uh, youthful so this to me speaks to I'm sorry if you guys can't see that very well but, okay well we, we know what it is um, it's time this is calling for it being time for you to um, you're seeing it you're waking up to to things that you weren't privy to before um, and so, you know, you could uh, possibly have some emotions that are being awakened. Sorry, guys, but this is wearing me out. I don't know what to do about that, but anyway. Um, and also, you know, of course, you can always take the messages as, you know, literally go and listen to these songs. This is a very sweet and sexy song we all know Tyrese is, is that and then of course you know Miss Diana Ross is you know taking charge and making moves and completely embodied within the self so I'm coming out and this could also be somebody who is you know they're coming out and if you are blessings to you Embodying exactly who you are is part of the learning process of being, okay? So, and then of course, you know, our, our underlying is, it must be nice to have someone in your life who accepts you for who you are. And this could also just be you accepting you for who you are, so that's what's up I like it I like it a lot all right animal unknown animals for the cancers letting some stuff go you know no longer holding on to you know some things and that's good we like it we are acknowledging the self and acknowledging who we are. That's fantastic. I like that for you. All right. Okay. 
I saw it earlier when I was shuffling that it said, no, I said, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Your heart is open. You know that you're safe and protected in whatever it is that you wish to communicate. And if not, if you don't feel this way, then it is time for this energy to come in for you. Um, this is acceptance of self-love as well, okay? You guys, is your, your, your birthday season is, is here. So be in your claiming. This is your underline. Woo. God is talking to y'all. So this is creativity. This is the um, not solar plexus. Uh, this is the sacral chakra. This is creativity, and um, if 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 this is pregnancy or giving birth, congratulations. If this is finding out that you are expecting and becoming a parent, congratulations. But this is divine coming in for you and healing some deep core stuff so that you can see with your mind's eye how creative and actually we 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 come into understanding that we create our reality so if we are hurt here in this um space if we are hurt in our in our heart then creating is not that that means down here down in the in the lower chakras something has to be fixed something is not correct so we're coming into alignment with both our creativity and our heart that's sweet i like that too all right cancer y'all go ahead on it's time there it's it's time to to heal this this um, uh, eclipse that's coming up is is definitely eclipsing out some dark and shadow things, and we've had to do a lot of cleansing um, from from you know last year all up until this year. God had to have a reset. I believe that that's what everything. The shutdown and all of that stuff has been about is not just um, you know being safe, but it was time for a, a, a global sit yourself down and get some things in order. Okay, so let's see, Cancer, Cancer. Let's see what the fairies have to say for cancer. Woo, there it is. Okay. It's two of them. Let's make sure which two. Alright. This is a lot of uh okay. Extasis and Nalise the Alchemist. This is raw energy. Ecstasis is raw energy. It is complete and utter creative energy. And you have that to do with what you will. It is up to you though. Understand? This is God saying it's up to you. I've given you everything that you need to take care of this. God's, God's right there. You see that? That divine being right there in that card, card number two? That is the 100% knowing that everything around you is okay and you can take the steps forward that you need to take to create what it is that you are wanting in your life. Okay? 
um, the underlying energy is more water. This is more energy. This to buy of the waters. This is um, love for self and love for others and just a complete a completeness. Yes, but it is complete understanding of this and the higher level of this and what it is to have this divine gift but learning how to use it correctly from from a space that is healed this is learning how to how to manifest how to create from a healed place Cancer, sometimes you, 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 you have the tendency to go to the depths but not know how to bring yourself out. This, this is God telling you, you have everything you need to walk in what it is that you need to walk in to claim what it is that you are here to claim. But it's on you, it's on you to take the steps journeyman to take the steps forward you are your steps are assured your steps are assured but it's on you to take the steps this is this whole thing is your responsibility your life is yours not anybody else's your life is your responsibility so when you do that and then you claim your self-esteem and your worth and expression for you you can get this because the, these things are underlying this this these things are underlying this is stuff that you you you're, you're supposed to resolve and heal and come into for this but doing this with uh, let me see. With this here, or this here, is going to bring you nothing but constant sorrow. So that's where we're, we're claiming healing in that right now. Deep emotional healing is what I am hearing for you, Cancer. Um, yeah, let's get one of the Barbary Zodiac Oracles. I really like these because this gets down, for me, it gets down to the nitty gritty of what is the most important thing that you need to be working on. Especially when it comes to these, oh, there it is. Especially when it comes to these energies of um, these big planetary retrogrades and energies and all that stuff. Saturn being retrograde, Saturn, Jupiter, uh, Venus is going direct, and that would happen to be your card here is Venus. And uh, of course, Mercury is uh, is retrograde, and there's one other Pluto. And those are heavy, heavy planets. Seriously, those are heavy planets that that direct a lot of life understanding things. That's why we are. I believe that we're going through the things that we're going through in our time right now. But um, we'll get to that. Let's stick with this. This is. Venus is about love. It's that divine feminine energy. This is um, healing um, deep core wound issues with being expressive in your emotions. This is not just for feminines. This is not just for women. This is for everyone to come into balance with their masculine and feminine energy so if your lower chakras which the masculine um is uh, the masculine governs if those energies are out of order and out of whack your heart chakra is going to be completely out of whack so this is 
coming into alignment or needing to come into alignment with your feminine energies, your intuition, your love, the way you communicate. This is what what's coming in for you at this time and there's more water. This is healing deep core, hardcore stuff that was hard to look at. It's hard to look at and you see she's just, you know, intuitively all about emotions and feeling and all that stuff. Not just in the heart chakra, which is, you know, it's got a light there, but this is that third eye and up understanding and coming in for you all right I try, i'm trying to do like a complete reading and stuff this is my first first time recording it so let's go ahead and we're gonna do um what's a love message for you from um either someone you are in a relationship with or someone you want to be in a relationship or something that you need to heal we're just going to uh we, we've talked about the healing stuff but we're going to see you know if there's a message from someone that either considers you a significant other or you consider them just because i think it's fun and we want to end up Six of Swords, mentally moving forward. This is being into sub in, in submission of what it is that you want and moving forward. Mentally, Swords are about, you, you know, your thoughts and your thinking. So this is coming into alignment with that divine masculine, divine feminine inner self and claiming it and moving forward mentally so that you can get into these waters and ground that's what someone is wanting to do with you let's see the underlying energy the underlying energy is the two of swords that's not really knowing what to do but the thing is this is the underlying energy you've already gone through all this so this is what you're doing you're no longer in this place of, you know, I, will I, won't I, do I, don't I. If you like the person, you like the person. If you don't, move around. We don't have time for BS and foolishness, okay? So, that is the message that I have for you, Cancer. If you would like to get more personal and book a personal with me, you can do so at... Um, Platinum Touch 1111 at gmail.com, or you can contact me on the various um, platforms at Divine Me underscore 1111. And um, I have two price points at this time for a half an hour, it's $25 for up to an hour with a voice call or um, video chat with me, is $55.55. .55. I thank you, I appreciate you, and I send you all love and light. Take care.